In today's video, we're gonna start designing a coffee add to cart screen using Adobe Dimension and Adobe XD. In today's video, we're gonna create the basic wireframe for this and our product label. And then in the tomorrow's video, we're gonna add our label to our product and finish off our design. So that's today's video. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. To get started, I dragged out some guides here. I have one on the left at 35, same thing on the right side, and then 150 from the top and 50 from the bottom, just for some easy, quick guidelines there. Also, I do wanna let you guys know that the completed project file for this is available to members in the community tab, if you guys wanna go ahead and download that. So I'm gonna double click on the artboard, just call that wireframe, and we'll go ahead and mock this up with some basic shapes to get a good outline of what we wanna go with for this design. I'm going to drag out a square in the top left hand corner, setting that to 24 by 24 and I'll set it to a gray color and remove the border. Holding alt to click and drag and create a duplicate. Those are the placeholders for both of our navigation icons. So that'll do for now. Next, I'm going to have a heading down here at the bottom. Below that we'll have a paragraph, probably only two lines of text. And since we're making a add to cart screen, we're gonna need a little bit of customization. So we're gonna have probably the size of the product. So I'll add a few selections for that. And then the quantity. And at the very bottom, we'll have a button to add to cart. So that's kind of the layout we're gonna go with. Now we'll just replace each one of these with more polished elements. The first thing I'm gonna do is the heading. So I'm just gonna delete that, grab the type tool and type out a heading. This app is gonna be for a coffee product. So we're gonna be ordering coffee. And I'm gonna set this to Roboto, which is the font that we're gonna be using today. That's from Google. And I'm gonna bump that up to 26 and bold the heading. For our paragraph, I'll just drag out a text area, paste in a bit of lorem ipsum, and we'll adjust that to 16 for the body size and a regular weighted font. I'm gonna double click on that bottom point to collapse that box around the text. And we'll position that about 15 points from the bottom of our heading. For the size of the coffee, right now we have four ounces selected, as you can see here by the heading. Uh, we're gonna make that text quite small, something like 12, and make it all capital, just so it's a little bit easier to see. And then since we have 15 spacing in between the body and the heading, we'll go with 30 below the body. So we're gonna have three options probably for the size of coffee. So I'm gonna make these little rectangles with a slight border radius. And I'll put this six points below that heading. So I'm actually gonna set them to 60 by 32 and then hold alt, click and drag to create a duplicate. And we'll put 10 spacing in between each one of these. That gives us a little bit more room over here on the side. So I'll just hold alt and drag over a duplicate of the size text and change this to quantity. Holding alt to drag out a duplicate of our rectangles. We're gonna drag this one quite a bit larger on the width, something around 94. And then we'll align quantity to the left edge of that. So for each of these selections, we're gonna have the ounces. So I'm gonna set this text color to white and we'll put four ounces and we'll make this slightly larger and set it to 16 and regular weight. And then we'll center align that inside of each of the rectangles with different selections. I'm gonna go with four, 12, and 18. And create a duplicate of that, holding Alt again, and then put the number one for the quantity. And we'll center align that in the larger rectangle. And then on each side of this, we're gonna have some icons. For now, we'll just leave those out. Next, on to the final thing, which is the Add to Cart button. I'm gonna reduce that border radius just a little bit, and we'll set that to 16. For the height of this, we're gonna have it at 62, and it's the full width in between our guides for 344 wide. Just gonna call this Add to Cart, set it to all capital, and we need to bump up the size to, let's go with a medium, just to make it look nice. And then I'm gonna select everything above it and drag it until there is 50 points of space in between that and the Add to Cart button. And while we're looking at this wireframe, before I forget to make this adjustment, I'm gonna select the size and the quantity holding shift so that I have both selected. And I'm gonna hit the right arrow key on my keyboard four times. Just to bump it over from the edge of each of these rectangles, 
because with that border radius, when you align it there, it, in my opinion, it just doesn't look as good. So just a slight shift in makes it look a little bit better. Now that we have all of our typography and our basic shapes, let's finalize this by adding the icons and then we'll go into a high fidelity version of this to create our design. Just gonna load up Nucleo and grab my box icons set, drag in a plus straight into Adobe XD, a minus, an arrow icon, and we're gonna need a shopping cart icon, so we'll grab that as well. To position the plus, we'll just drag it into our rectangle and put 10 spacing on the right. And I'm gonna actually scale this down, it's a little too large, to about 10 by 10 there, and make sure it's 10 from the edge. And for now, we'll just fill that to white. Same thing with the minus. Just scale that down to a similar size and make sure it's centered and 10 from the left side of that rectangle and set the fill to white. For these other two icons, we'll just drag them up to our navigation. Placing the back icon in the center of the left corner rectangle and the shopping bag in the center of the right corner rectangle. Then I'm gonna select the background rectangles themselves and just lower the opacity to 0%. And then I'm gonna grab each icon in their respected background, Command G to group. And then we have our icons with their spacing around them. I'm gonna turn off my guidelines with Command semicolon and that is our wireframe. I'm gonna select it, duplicate it, and call this one design. So in this large space, we're gonna have our product and we're actually gonna create that in Adobe Dimension. But before we do that, we need a product label. And so I'll create that with you guys for our bold coffee company. So let's just go and grab the artboard tool over here and we'll just drag out any size and we'll set it to 400 by 440. For now, I'm gonna turn the fill off so the background's completely transparent here in the pasteboard and we'll just make a real simple label. Gonna drag out a rectangle, the full size of this artboard. Drag the border radius into a decent round. I'll go with 30. And then I'm gonna set the border to white and remove the original fill. And we'll bump that up to about seven, just to give it some width. Our coffee label is gonna have the name of the company, the type of roast it is, and then the blend down here in the bottom center, and then we'll probably have the amount of ounces in the top right. So we'll start with a rectangle down here for the type of coffee. To size this, we'll do 75 and 270 for the width. Center align that, and I'll put it about 25 from the bottom of our rectangle, and just drag in the border radius to about 17. With a smaller shape like this, we need to decrease the size of the border radius so it looks like it belongs. So 17 looks pretty good for that. We'll remove the border, and I already have a yellow color picked out. And here it is, the color code is FFCA65. And we'll just grab the type tool, and I'm gonna call this a morning blend, all capital. And I'll scale that up to 26 and set it to bold, and then I'll center line it inside of that rectangle. Holding Alt to create a duplicate. This is gonna be a light roast, and we'll just drag this down in size just a little bit. 23 looks okay, and set it to a lighter weight, maybe even regular. I'm gonna grab the line tool and drag out a line the same width of this rectangle, and I'll set the size to two, and fill it to white. And this is gonna go above our light roast and we'll put it 10 points above it. We're gonna have two boxes of text up here, one for bold and the other one for coffee. So I'm just gonna quickly create both of those. I'm gonna set coffee to a lightweight. And with this, I'm gonna scale this up until it is the width of that line we just created. And I'm gonna place it above it. Same thing for bold, except this one's going to be set to black for the weight. And I'm gonna drag it all the way up until it is the same width as that line. And I'm just gonna drag these down and I'll hold Alt and put another line above it just to make it look cool. And I'm just gonna visually align everything and make the spacing in between all of the text elements and the lines look nice and consistent. So I'm just using my arrow keys here. And then let's see how far this is from the top of the artboard. 75 looks good. And lastly, in the top right, we need the amount of ounces. And I'll just scale that down slightly to 20. 
align it to the right of all of our elements. And I'm just going to center it visually vertically in this white space from the line to this line. And there we go. That's our nice and simple coffee brand logo. You can spend more time making this, but for this tutorial, I think this will do. So I'm just going to export this by selecting it and hitting command E on my keyboard and saving it out as a PNG file. In tomorrow's video, we're going to take this label and we're going to add it to our product in Adobe Dimension, render that out and finish our design for our coffee add to cart screen. I hope you guys are ready for part two tomorrow. I'll see you guys there. That's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.